The lighting in here is really bad. Good morning, America and any other country watching. Today, I am getting tested for coronavirus. I have to test negative for coronavirus and all that type of stuff before I get back to college campus. And I'm sure you guys are wondering, why are you going back to college right now? I am sick and tired of being home. I have been home for long enough. It's time for me to get back to my life down on campus. I will rather be bored in my dorm than bored at home any longer and plus it's like easier for my major because i'm a business major so it's easier to like be on campus and like have to do group work and stuff but we don't have to worry about that um but we have to test negative and send the results back to my school before i can move back on there and if i test positive i just have to quarantine for 14 days before i get back on campus i ordered the thing my school partnered with this company so we could like order the kits for free, do it at home and send it back to them. So I ordered it, it came in the mail. So let's go look at it. I'm just gonna say this now. But anyway, I'm just gonna say this now. It is thunderstorming where I live right now. So the lighting is probably gonna be iffy. And if you hear thunder and stuff like that, that's the rain outside. You've been warned. This is the package that it came in. Your health in focus. Girl, please. Hashtag unboxing my coronavirus testing kit. This shit looks like dangerous. I have to, ew, I need to shave. But I have to registered the number that they gave me to my college website so they can like track the results or whatever i don't know there's just a number on there and i have to like put it on something online so i will go do that and then i'll get back to you guys okay i'm in the bathroom because i have to wash my hands real quick but it's like so complicated we have to wash our hands take the cotton swab out a certain way and then swirl it around in one nostril take it out swirl it around in the other nostril put it in the liquid test tube thing and then ship it off like the same day. And it's about to be six o'clock and FedEx closes at six o'clock. So I need to hurry up and do this. I'll try to film me doing it, like putting it up my nose and everything, but I don't know if I'm going to get to. So yeah. Here is me doing my test in my kitchen with my dad filming. So I had to put it in one nostril, swirl it around three times, the Q-tip thing. Why am I going so slow? I don't know. And then put it in my other nostril and swirl it around three times as well. This is so exciting. And then I had to put it in like this test tube that they gave us with some liquid so it would preserve the germs or whatever, and I could not get the thing open for the life of me. Put it in there. Put the top back on. And we're all done. Look at the bag. It looks dangerous. Whenever I see that symbol, like, in the middle of the bag on the orange line or whatever, I get so scared. Then I put it back in the box and now it's ready to be shipped. Yay. Okay, so I have the box right here and we have to drop it off in one of the drop boxes real quick and then they're gonna send it to the lab, see if I have coronavirus or not and I'll get my results in four to six days. So catch you guys then. All right, so it's been five days since I took my COVID test and the results are in. Drum roll, please. I am clean. It says, this test checks for coronavirus. Da, 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 da. Not detected. Your results do not detect COVID. A negative test means that you likely do not have it. 
I am negative, bitches. It also says on here, a false negative result is possible. When they say stuff like that, it's so scary, but honestly, I just feel like they have to say stuff like that. So just in case one person out of the million people who have a false negative don't sue them or whatever. And on my like kit or when I signed up for this with my email and everything, they told me we'll test for um antibodies. Yeah, antibodies. We'll test if you have antibodies too. And I don't see that on here. Like that's nowhere on here. Your help and you. But yeah, that's nowhere on here. Anything like that involves my school, like any business that partners with my school is so unprofessional, so like raggedy, like they just partner up with people for the cheap cheap. And I never told you guys this, but I'm going to fill you in now. When I had filmed my little video going back to campus to get my stuff, and I had picked one of the storage companies that my school had partnered with to like pack up my stuff and put in a storage room, those people, let me just give you the whole update. Those people never call me back. You know that. I said that in the video. But they charged me $500 on my card because I had signed up for my card with the thing and then when we called them and asked them about it they're like oh it's for the deposit for the storage room but you never told us. and then they sent us an invoice after the phone call you never told us that you can't charge someone $500 and then be like oh well it's for this and this after the transaction you have to tell somebody before and if we would have known that we would have went with another storage company and of course these people are doing the same thing and watch me have coronavirus or something and it says that i don't and then just because i have coronavirus i have to give them 500 dollars just for no reason and they said the thing was free but watch me watch them charge me like 200 dollars in about two weeks another $200 gone off my account. Like, you can't charge someone $500 worth of something for a storage unit that you didn't put on your contract that I signed, that you didn't put nowhere, and then just think that that's okay. Like, you're not about to do me like that. But anyways, uh, I'm so excited. This means I get to go back to school without any issues. Now I just have to get over the hump of setting up. Let me try to even this out. Is it even? Yeah. Now I have to go through the hump of just moving all my stuff back down there, moving into my dorm. And I will have a dorm tour coming very soon. But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it sheds some light. If you're scared to get tested for coronavirus, it was literally nothing. I know some tests, you have to have the thing stuck all the way up your nose. But mine, I just did it with a cotton swab, swirled it around. And um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I hope you have a great rest of your day, night, whatever time you're watching this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>
and the way that I said I didn't want them to stick the thing all the way up my nose that's exactly what they did and they stuck it like all the way up there like to my eyeball and then they like twisted it around in both nostrils and I was literally about to like cry it made my eyes water up and I didn't get to film much of it I got a few pictures and a few little videos because we were not allowed to film there for whatever reason. But yeah, now we just have to wait for the results. So I will see you guys when they give me my COVID results for the second time. At least this way I get to show you guys how to do it two different ways. I did the first one at home and like it was real easy. And you won't get to see me getting it done at the testing site obviously but i just explained it to you guys a little bit and if anyone like wants me to explain it more in depth just comment and i'll respond to the comment or whatever but this way i get to show you guys how to do it at the testing site and at home so yeah anything for my subscribers okay now this time with more feeling um, they gave me my coronavirus results for the second time for the second test and hopefully this one will be close enough to my move in day so I don't have to take it a third time but here it is there it is it says not detected for the second time yay the first time it was really exciting and kind of nerve-wracking but the second time it's just like whatever I don't have coronavirus Whoopee. Okay, now this video is actually done. So once again, I hope you have a great rest of your day, night, or whatever time you're watching this. And for the second time, bye. bye.